my name is Chris McCullough, and I am Director of Evangelization and Faith Formation at the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen. Today is Wednesday in the fifth week of Lent. Today's Gospel reading from John is the first part of a longer section. It is a dialogue between Jesus and the Jews. Within this dialogue, we hear several points that Jesus is making. The first point concerns lineage from Abraham. And the second concerns the sin of the Jews. And the third concerns that Jesus has been sent by the Father. The conversation exhibits increased hostility and bitterness. It comes between the exchange of Jesus and those who are called the Jews. Two times Jesus will state that the Jews are trying to kill him. The whole discourse is set off by Jesus' opening statement where he says, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. The Jews object to the notion that they may not be free. Being set free implies slavery. They claim their lineage as descendants of Abraham and because of that are free people and not slaves. Jesus is quick to respond to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits a sin is a slave of sin. Sin is singular because the singular sin for Jesus and for John is not to believe. That is the sin. Jesus states that he is the one to free them of their bondage to sin. He is the one who is sent by the Father who delivers God's word to them. But the Jews still object, claiming that Abraham is their father. And so they are children of Abraham. As children of Abraham, they are descendants of the covenantal promises that God made with Abraham. Jesus again responds to them and says, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the work of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. This conflict depicted here between Jesus and the Jews was also one with John's community. The early church was also struggling with this question. The question was, how does the synagogue and the church coexist? Did the Gentiles have to become Jews because they were followers of Christ? But, as indicated in Jesus' opening line, a true disciple is one who abides in God's word. We may not have to struggle between the synagogue and the church, but we do share the same struggle, which is our bondage to sin. As we move through this fifth week of Lent, let us seek to release the bonds of our own sin in our lives by abiding by God's word. It is when we are able to abide in God's word that we come to know the truth of God's saving power in Jesus' sacrifice for us. It is a sacrifice that frees us from our slavery to sin. And so, let us pray. Dear God, you provide the truth of your word to us in your Son, Jesus. Help us to remove all the obstacles to that truth so that our ears and our hearts may be opened to receive your liberating word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, we celebrate Mass here at the Cathedral every day at 7.15 and 8.15 in the morning and again at 5.30 in the afternoon. And if you are unable to join us for those celebrations, you can watch live at 815. Simply visit our homepage and click on the Watch Mass Live button. We thank you for being with us and have a blessed day.